Welcome to the Sibsey West Midlands Region vlog and podcast. My name is Joss Brownlee and I'm the chair for the Sibsey West Midlands Region Committee. Today we're looking at Reba Stage 4, Technical Design, the final step before construction. Hopefully you're following the series, if not, you can catch up on the previous pod posts. This series has been kindly sponsored by ADR Consulting Engineers and uses content authored and produced by them, which is also available via their blog on their website. ADR are based in Canterbury, but have projects across the country, including within the West Midlands region. ADR are a group of like-minded building services engineers that have established themselves through academic or practical backgrounds. All of their engineers are professionally accredited and have proven track record in delivering award-winning projects. They love what they do, and that shows through their work. We thank Lex and the team at ADR for their help, support and input to the series. Having completed stage three, spatial coordination, the procurement route now follows one of two routes. Firstly, traditional contract. The design team will continue unchanged into stage four technical design, retaining control of the project. The build will be significantly more detailed, giving less chance of change or design and build contract. The where the design will be completed by the main contractor or builder, typically via their subcontractors which gives greater options for, cron the, for the contractor savings and possibly increased buildability. Is there a preferred procurement route? Design and build offers many benefits and significant amounts of projects follow the DMB route. Leveraging buying power and maximizing the contractor's con competency can develop a proposal that hits the performance and budget targets. The Mighty 300. As previously mentioned, one of the key terms we use during the design process is LOD for level of development or level of detail. This can be dis best described as what detail you'll be showing and how intelligent the model will be at certain stage. LOD 300 is typically suitable for Reba stage four. The definition of m and &E services are graphically represented within the project as a specific system, objects or assemblies representative in terms of quantity, size, shape, location, and orientation. Whilst visually we can see the systems, objects, or assemblies in terms of quantity, size, shape, location, and orientation, the package of information should also complement the model, drawing, and outputs. Schedules, reports, briefs, and specifications that are issued at information exchanges should be at the same level of detail. Stage four is the final step before we head into the construction process. As such, it is considered the last chance to firm up the design and ensure all regulations and standards are being followed. Calculations should be finalized using industry approved methods and software and the stage four information should reflect a robust and buildable package. There is also the potential for some value engineering to be introduced at this stage. VE items have pros and cons. It's a complex process when considering contractor issued substitutions. Does it perform equally or better than proposed? What warranty does it come with? Does it fit spatially? What are the loading values? Does it conform to all strategies, fire, access, thermal, energy, etc.? What makes it different? The next stage is stage five, construction, finally getting to site. In the next post, we'll look at how and what information should be available during construction process and what we can do as M&E building services engineers to support the project.